If you're involved in a regular high impact activity and you want to know how to prevent injury, this video is for you. Check this out. Kyle recently graduated from basic training and is on his way to airborne school and he wants to know what injuries to look out for. First of all, Kyle, thank you for your service and congratulations for making it through basic. I was in the army and I know how basic training is. It is very intense. It's not as easy as people would think. When I was in the army, my MOS was 91 Delta, operating room specialist. So my job was to help in surgery, fix people who did things like jump out of airplanes. I don't know why anybody want to jump out of a perfectly good airplane, but God bless you for doing so. We appreciate your service, brother. Now, Kyle, the physical training that you got in basic will pale in comparison to what you're going to receive in airborne school. It's going to be a lot more running, a lot more high impact things, a lot more activities, not only in your running shoes, but also in your combat boots. And as we all know, combat boots are not the greatest footwear for high impact. I have learned that the impact of landing when parachuting is similar to jumping off of a high dresser drawer or jumping off the roof of a one-story house. It may not seem like much at once or after a few times, but after doing it multiple times over multiple weeks, it could have an impact on your body. So if you start noticing any issues with any soreness, particularly in your larger joints and specifically your lower back, let your superiors know so you can get checked out. Over the years in my podiatry practice, I have treated many people who participate in high impact activities. Fitness trainers, runners, boxers, martial artists, police officers, and yes, skydivers. And they all have the same type of injuries. Yes, you get the occasional acute injury like an ankle sprain or a broken bone, but the most overlooked type of injuries are those chronic overuse injuries. I'm talking things like plantar fasciitis and tendonitis. Plantar fasciitis is pain and inflammation of the plantar fascia on the bottom of the foot. Click on this video here to see my explanation of this condition. Tendonitis is inflammation of the tendons structures that attach muscles to bone and allow our bones to move when the muscles contract. Due to chronic overuse issues, we can get these problems within the tendons and also can lead to muscle strain. The chronic pounding from high impact activities can cause a lot of wear and tear not only on the feet but also of our other major joints including the ankles, knees, hips, and especially the lower back. Yes, we can all have some amount of soreness when working out, but the difficult thing is to try to determine if this is just workout soreness or it's an injury. Workout soreness is usually dull and goes away shortly after workout and by the next day you're good to go. An injury, however, is different. It can be sharper, it can be more frequent, and most importantly, it can be very predictable. If you're on a treadmill for about five minutes, every time after about five minutes, it begins to hurt. Or if you're out running and every time about five miles or about one mile, you start to have pain, that's an indicator of injury and not just regular workout soreness. If you're starting to get pain in your knee after doing a particular activity and it happens every time, it could be an injury and not just workout soreness. The best way to prevent injury from high impact activities is to know yourself. Know your foot type, know your body type, know how your body weight calculates with all of these things, and know your limitations. If you're flat footed, you may be more prone to plantar fasciitis. If you have high arches, especially if they're rigid, you may be more prone to higher joint problems, especially the knees, hips, and lower back. Now, if you've been out of the loop for a while when it comes to working out, especially because of the pandemic, and now you're trying to shed some of these pandemic pounds as I'm trying to do, 
Don't jump right into the Zumba class right away. Build yourself up to it. You don't want to get out there and you've been out of the loop for a long time and you jump into a class and you're hopping up and down, spinning around, and next thing you know, you have a stress fracture in your foot. Nothing against Zumba and classes like that, but Zumba has given me a lot of new patience over the years. Sports insoles, I mean sports insoles, not any other type of insole, will be very helpful in absorbing the impact from high impact activities. If you have flat feet or high arches or plantar fasciitis, then a custom insole as prescribed by a podiatrist may be more necessary for you. Now, what if you don't have any particular issues, but you want to make sure you're doing the right thing to make sure that you do not hurt yourself? Well, you can see a podiatrist and get what I call a sports checkup. The doctor will do a full evaluation of your feet and lower extremity, take into account your body weight and everything else that's going on in your life, and help you determine what you need to do as far as footwear and orthotics to make sure you do not injure yourself as you go through your high impact activities and you increase your potential. Now, I would be remiss if I did not talk about shoes. Wear the right shoes for the right activity. Do not wear running shoes to play basketball. Do not wear basketball shoes to go hiking. I think you can get what I'm talking about. I've seen too many issues where the wrong shoes were worn for a particular activity. Also make sure your shoes are in good shape. Worn out shoes will cause the muscles and the tendons to work harder. This can lead to things like tendonitis, muscle strain, and plantar fasciitis. Finally, if you have any medical conditions such as high blood pressure, heart disease, or diabetes, see your doctor first before you go out there and get involved in these high impact activities. Your doctor will make sure everything is okay and clear you to participate in these type of things. Once again, build yourself up as you go through high impact activities. Don't get ahead of yourself, that could cause injury. Make sure your shoes are in good shape. Know yourself, know what your limitations are so that you can build them as you go through and train. Kyle, thank you very much again for your question. We look forward to what you're gonna do in the military and how you're gonna serve our country. And thank you once again. This is Kevin Jefferson, the DC Foot Doctor. Thank you very much for watching this video. Like it with a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell so you will know when a new video has been uploaded. Share it with your family and friends. If you leave a comment or a question, it may be featured in a future video. But most importantly, take care of your feet.